Hello, welcome to Tech Shanmit. In this session, we will discuss another DB2 SQL function, which is SQRT. So first of all, I will show you the table in which we have stored some data, and then we will understand the requirement, like in which scenario we are uh, looking uh, for this solution, means uh, where we will use this SQRT function. Okay, and after that, we will see how we can utilize this function inside SQL RPG program. So let's jump to the session B. Here I will show you the data. So for that I will run one query. Select star from Sharmit one slash emp. So this is the same table that we were using from last few se sessions. So if I do Shift F eight, I just change the last column. Previously it was re uh, rating, but now I make it as numbers. And uh, for the first record only, I have set some number as four. For the remaining one, I keep it as a null. Because I just want to fetch this record in my SQL RPG program, okay? So if I so uh, if I show you the exact column, which is the numbers, numbers, so you can see there uh, there is one number stored as four. Now assume there is one scenario where you are building some mathematical application, okay? And uh, there you need this value, but in terms of square root. So how? we can achieve that so for that we will use the sqrt function sqrt which means square root so what it will do it will take the argument as this uh, parameter means uh, it will take this number as an argument and then it will calculate the square root of this number and then the output would be the square root of this 4 okay so in this scenario we will be needing this sqrt function whenever there is a need to fetch the numbers in terms of a square root okay so let's see how we are using it in sql rpg program so this is the program that i am using functions i will take option 2 here here first of all we are declaring one constant variable which is sql state underscore valid and this variable we are going to use for uh, this constant we are going to use for validating whether the query is executed properly or not then we have one variable result this, uh, this variable we will use to store the uh, retrieved value th that we are getting from the sqrt function then we are setting the commitment control as star none and below to this we are changing the uh, we are running the main query so exec sql select sqrt function is this so th this is the syntax you need to pass sqrt inside that you have to pass one argument which takes uh, which will hold the output uh, the numbers right so what it will do it will calculate the sqrt square root of the number 4 because in numbers we have stored 4 and then whatever the square root it will return we are going to store it inside a host variable result so it will hold the result and uh, this data is coming from sharmit1 slash emp where sharmit1 is my library name and emp is my table name and here we have also mentioned one thing fetch first row only so what it will do it will fetch only the first row and then below to this we are checking for the sql state if sql state equals to sql state underscore valid then we will print the result else we will print the sql state along with a message query ended with an error then end if and ilr equals to star on okay so let's quickly compile this program and call this program so we are getting the output as 2 but if you look at the file data it is 4 so this is how it works it converted the 4 into the square root and become the output as 2 okay and the syntax for sqrt is quite simple you just need to write sqrt and inside parenthesis you can pass the value for which you want to calculate the square root all right now same thing if you would like to use here on db2 sql query you can use you can simply write here sqrt parenthesis and here we are not passing uh, fetch first row only so it will convert all the values if there if there was any value it Uh, it would also get converted to square root so you can see and these are the some extra spaces it is showing okay so you can use on sql rpg as well as on db2 sql query so yeah this is how we can utilize sqrt function i hope it is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech sharmit